here's another scenario uh, that probably my family thinks, you know, when the, somebody asked me, this nurse practitioner asked me the other day, what, what do you think your family? And she knows about my story, the medical injury, and then I have Erlostamos and um, carry malformation and the critical sleep issue and, you know, the years of uh, just gradually getting becoming more and more ill. And she said to me, well, what, what does your family, what do you think your family really thinks about this? I'm estranged from my whole family, but she said, what, what do you think your family is saying? Like, what do you think your family thinks? And I really don't have a clue. I think they've made up various stories and they, 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 you know, make each other, they, they've created a, a narrative about me. I think that I've gone crazy or, yeah, I think that's, you know, probably I've, I've gone crazy. <laughs> I, I say, I say that like, as if it, like, as if, I don't know, <laughs> like, as if I say that nonchalantly, but I'm so used to, I'm so used to that already. I'm so used to being beaten down and talked badly about by my family. But it sort of just came out of my mouth funny, like nonchalantly, like as if it didn't, didn't even matter. Yeah, they, they think I'm crazy. Um, I think another uh, another story that they tell themselves, I think this is another version of the story that um, my daughter and I are estranged and I think they think I've gone crazy over that. And, uh, you know, through the years, um, and they don't know this and they don't see this because they weren't around. Through the years, I've gradually, this is what they haven't seen. Through the years, I've gradually lost physical strength and physical ability. And um, you know, um, I'm the type of gal that uh, if if I can do something, I will. If there's a, any physical possible way I can fix things or do things here, I will do it. From everything, you know, everything. Cleaning the eaves, building things, fixing things, repairing things, changing the light switch in, the, you know, in the rooms of the house, changing plugins, cha you know, shutting the power off, changing electrical stuff. Uh, I have, you know, gone to the lumber, lumber yard, picked up lumber, made shelving, wall-to-wall -wall shelving in the basement. You know, I have, uh, power tools. Uh, I mean, the wall-to-wall -wall shelving, a, uh, you know, a carpenter would, would look at them and laugh, but you know what? I built them and you know what? I have wall to wall shelving. It they work, they hold things. They're not perfect. They don't have to be. They're utility shelves. Um, you know, I've hauled, you know, went and got lumber and made shelving for the closets, cut the, cut the wood by myself, blah blah blah. Just you know, I do what I can and I'm not lazy ever. And uh and I've gradually just lost more and more strength. And what they don't see is I've had to switch out my vacuum for, you know, tiny hand, va like stick vacuums. I can't lift things. I've lost my strength. Uh, I've, uh, you know, I've had to switch out my normal yard tools, like a rake and a shovel for lightweight, tiny versions, girl versions of, you know, I, I can't use a normal rake anymore or ra normal anything. I've gone out of my way to shop for lightweight, tiny versions of everything. I don't have the body strength. I, I am, am failing over the years and with no understanding of why. And 
You know, I was sleepwalking nonstop for years up until a year and a half ago. Sleepwalking, sleep eating. Uh, my brain being woken up dozens of times from Zopiclone every night. Um, my drive to breathe disappearing. The family never saw any of that. And yeah, during that time, I was a parent. I had dogs. Um, we had to give one a dog away and the other dog passed away and uh, had Addison's disease and passed away. Um, you know, just busy, busy mom, but no one knew what I was going through and no one could see the decline. They saw me working my ass off. They never saw that I was losing strength and no one noticed I was switching out yard tools for lightweight ones and um, like switching all my dishes for plastic dishes, buying plastic dishes and plastic bowls and plastic cups. You won't find glass glasses in my house because it's too hard for me to lift these things and wash them. This was nine, ten years ago. I'm switching out my pots and pans and dishes for lighter weight stuff because I can't stand and lift, lift these dishes to wash them. Like, you know, a, a serious, bizarre loss in strength. A gradual, very, very gradual loss in strength. And my kid was out of control. My kid was a teenager and, you know, um, pretty out of control. No one knew that. No one knew how bad things were here as I struggled and my kids struggled. And, you know, um, the family never knew. I was hiding thing. You know, you, my family couldn't be trusted. My sisters couldn't be trusted to not gossip about us. So, you know, um, and I just was bizarrely losing strength. And then my daughter and I became estranged. And I won't go into detail. This is life. This There are thousands and thousands of people in my position with estranged children. And um, so what my family saw was they thought I was fine. And then my daughter disappeared and I, my health became a crisis. What they didn't see was all this gradual loss of strength and decline. They didn't know I was sleeping. None of them believed me anyways. They all, everybody thinks that they're not sleeping at, at night. And so I think that's the other version that my daughter and I became, my daughter ran away and they think that my health, I think they think that I went nuts. My daughter, I was fine. My daughter ran away and I went nuts. And none of this is true. None of this health stuff is happening. I'm just nuts. I think that's, that's the primary scenario. And I think there's another scenario. My mother just told me the other night that none of it, none of this is happening. It's all menopause. So that's, that's the other version. My daughter ran away and I went into menopause and lost my mind. So, you know, for, uh, for a nurse, for someone professional to ask me, where's your family or what am I, what does my family think? My family just mm, is making up stuff and, and, you know, they've made up a scenario. They've made up a story about me. Um, none of them have seen the, the serious decline in strength and breathing and, uh, you know, the physical decline. I'm so ill. I haven't even gone into rooms in my house for years. I'm waiting to become well. I mean, I used to, <laughs> anyways, I think that's the other scenario. My family just wrapped this up, made up this story about me and that's, and my, I, I was fine and my kid ran away and 
I went into menopause and I went crazy. I think that's what they're telling themselves. They haven't seen the gradual illness, the decline, the sleepwalking, sleep eating, sleeping three hours a night for years, uh, sleep, sleep switched to one to two hours for years ago. Uh, and then the horrific medication injury, the all the medical crisis. They haven't come close, you know, none of them have come to help and They've stood back and made up stories about me.